The seedling stage is when the cannabis plant is at its most vulnerable. So a couple of precautions will need to be followed to ensure a smooth transition to the vegetative stage. As the seedling first appears above ground, the plant is still busy building out its root zone. So until the roots are well established below ground, the plant will grow at a very slow pace since it's not able to take in enough water and nutrients from the soil to really start developing. This can last about a week or two. And during this time, the plant is at its most vulnerable to the environment. Pests, mold, extreme temperatures, low humidity, over and under watering, these can all kill cannabis seedling fast. So the proper environment is crucial during the first weeks of growth. This consists of a temperature range of around 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and a high relative humidity of 60 to 80 percent to support the seedling development above ground. Below ground, the soil needs to never get too wet or too dry so that the roots have access to water, nutrients, and air, which will help it grow at a steady pace. Pests will also need to be kept to a minimum, as there's so little growth that almost anything, from a snail to a small cutworm, can make quick work of your seedlings. Right when the plant starts to appear above ground, light will need to be introduced to the plants, ideally from 14 to 24 hours a day. The brightness of the grow lights only need to be about half to a fourth of its max amount. And this can be achieved either by placing the grow light within a foot of the seedling and lower the brightness down to about 30% or you can raise the light to about three feet away from the seedling at max brightness and let the plant grow into the light. One simple option to do all these things is with a humidity dome. By shrinking the entire grow space, it's easy to manipulate the entire environment. Humidity can be adjusted with the vent tabs, heat can be introduced with a seedling mat, and the grooves in the plant tray when used in conjunction with a seed starter tray or nursery bags will prevent water logging by removing all the excess runoff water so that the seeds are never in danger of drowning. A humidity dome will also prevent pests from accessing your plant. However, the high humidity can increase the chances of mold and mildew developing so it's important to gradually lower the humidity in the humidity dome by opening up the vents as the seedling first appears and to gradually have the vents fully opened a week into the seedling stage. This will also help the seedling start to acclimate to the outside environment known as hardening off and will help with the plant's recovery time when moved into a larger planter preventing some of the transplant shock. There are also some not so obvious benefits to starting a grow in a humidity dome. The smaller footprint means that you can start the first weeks of a grow anywhere, freeing up the larger grow spaces to allow for multiple grows at once. Starting small also means that there's no wasted utilities as you can use a smaller light to start since seedlings just don't require much lighting initially. The first two leaves of every cannabis plant will be round, and these leaves are known as the cololedon, which is an embryonic leaf that stores a good amount of nutrients for the seedling to live off of until the roots have established themselves. The next leaves that develop are known as the first true leaves. And these fan leaves, along with all the fan leaves that grow after it, will then start to have the serrated blades that we're all more familiar with. 
The first few true leaves will have only one to three blades. And then, as the plant transitions to the vegetative stage, the fan leaves will start to grow five or more. The location of every fan leaf that grows on a stem is also known as a node, and every node has the ability to grow a new stem right above the fan leaf. Once the first true leaves start to appear, if your soil is lacking any form of built-in nutrients, now is the time to start introducing a fertilizer to the plant in small doses. You want to be using a grow fertilizer for this, which is any fertilizer that's nitrogen rich. Around 25% of your fertilizer's recommended dosage is plenty during this stage. And if the tips of your true leaves start to turn brown, then cut that back even further as this is a sign of nutrient toxicity. While if the cotyledons start to turn yellow before the second set of true leaves have developed, you might not be feeding the plant enough and will need to increase the fertilizer amount. Finally, while there is no exact time when a plant is officially out of the seedling stage and into the vegetative stage, it's generally around when the fan leaves start to develop with five blades or more, or when the plant has around five nodes. And one of the key indicators is the explosive vegetative growth that starts happening to the plant once the root system is fully established. 